A Utah judge is in trouble for criticizing President Trump. And it's not the first time he's faced controversy for publicly condemning a U.S. president. Reporter Scott McLean has the details. It's not hard to find harsh criticism aimed at the president. Where you don't expect to find it is inside a courtroom. But a municipal judge in suburban Salt Lake City has been sanctioned for just that taking public pot shots at President Trump. Just days after the 2016 election, Judge Michael Kwan wrote on Facebook, think I'll go to the shelter to adopt a cat before the president-elect grabs them all, an apparent reference to the Access Hollywood tape. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab them by the <laughs> On Inauguration Day, Kwan wrote about his disdain for President Trump. The next month, he wrote, welcome to the beginning of the fascist takeover. The jabs even made it into his courtroom. Kwan once suggested a defendant not rely on his tax refund to pay fines because the president was building a wall. So if you think you're going to get taxes back this year, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not. But don't worry, there's a tax cut for the wealthy. Greg Scordis is Kwan's lawyer. We had argued unsuccessfully that judges are humans too, that judges have opinions, that so long as that opinion doesn't detract from their ability to judge, uh, to handle their cases appropriately and doesn't uh, detract from their credibility that they should be allowed to do that. The Utah Supreme Court disagreed, writing Judge Kwan's behavior denigrates his reputation as an impartial, independent, dignified and courteous jurist and that his postings continue a pattern of inappropriate political commentary. In 2005, Kwan made lewd comments in court about President Clinton's affair. In 2015, he was president of an Asian-American political advocacy group. He resigned after a judicial commission found his involvement unethical. He was publicly scolded in both cases, but the Supreme Court felt he hadn't learned his lesson, ordering a six-month suspension without pay, a punishment Scordis called excessive. I think he feels like he's been muzzled in a way that's inappropriate, but I think he also recognizes that that's the law and he intends to abide by it. Kwan doesn't rule on national or political cases, only small claims and misdemeanors. But the court ruled that doesn't matter. Maybe you're a Trump supporter and you appear in front of him. You're going to feel like you weren't treated fairly because this judge had bad feelings about Trump. Our system works because people have to have confidence in the system. A spokesperson for Taylorsville, Utah, where Kwan works as a court judge, says he will likely be hired back after his suspension.